Hello, in this video we will understand about the amylin and insulin physiology. But we will focus on the amylin because everybody know about the insulin even. Let's begin to understand from the person content digestive system whenever this person will eat food. So the food will be, will be digest and after going to the blood circulatory system this glucose, amino acid and pancreas will work with the response of the hyperglycemia in the blood circulatory system. Pancreas contain a lot of Langerhans, the endocrine cell, which that is a beta, alpha and delta. Beta cell is responsible for the production of the amylin and insulin. So amylin and insulin collectively produce due to the food trigger after the absorption of the food into the blood circulatory system. Amylin work differently rather than the work same uh, like insulin. So also the amylin will combine together the synergetically, synergistically with leptin also amylin uh, not uh, insulin but amylin bind with the leptin to reduce energy intake this is the hypothalamus later hypothalamus contain acute nucleus it is rewarding mechanism which that will lead to give the stiety so also the later hypothalamus produce the amylin same amylin when produced from the pancreas this synergistically with leptin to reduce the uh, energy intake. In the adipose tissue, whenever the fasted state, the lipolysis will occur to produce leptin, and leptin also uh, trigger the amylin from the lateral hypothalamus. Let's understand about the target of this amylin to the cell. So the several tissue involved like muscle, adipose tissue and a lot more things, a lot more tissue. Whenever this amylin will bind with the amylin receptor, the insulin receptor basically, tyrosine receptor will trigger the GLUT4 channel. But also the cyclic GMP will trigger, will lead to trigger the uh, phosphorylates, the ARC protein. This cascade of phosphorylation we are not understanding detail, but will lead to uh, gene activation and lead to anorexic effect, the stiety effect due to the, give the signal to the cell uh, will lead to activate the mTOR pathway as well as the glucose uptake and a lot is a lot more things which that will lead to get, get the stiety even every tissue whenever the glucose will move into the uh, pancreatic beta cell through glut 2 channel will lead to increase the glycolysis and the Krebs cycle and electron transport chain increase the ATP and the calcium influx will lead to uh, exocytosis of the amylin as well as insulin. This insulin is the basic anabolic hormone will target to the several tissue whenever the hyperinsulinemia will occur due to the hyperglycemia. Hyperglycemia will lead to inhibit the hyperglycemia to isoglycemia via a insulin release will target to the different tissue via a insulin receptor bind. When insulin receptor bind with the insulin will lead to glute vesicle opening. The four glute vesicle, uh, glute channel containing vesicle will transport into the plasma membrane and in this way the poration will occur. The glucose will move into the cytoplasm from the blood circulatory system and also lead to MAP kinase inhibit but the mTOR C1 will be activated will lead to transcription factor of the DNA will gene activation that gene is the used for the cell survival as well as progression of the cancer whenever you will be fed state so the glycogenesis, lipogenesis and proteogenesis, proliferation, growth will occur but in the fasted state, uh, another protein like mTOR C1 activate 
due to the inhibition of insulin the deficiency of insulin will trigger the map kinase also used for the cell survival but inhibit the cancer but it will be work normally as well as correct the dna damage the glucose will not uptake so the starvation mode will lead to preparation of the cell and dna damage but the mtor c1 is not involved for this summarization we will discuss now the stiety basically important for the amylin and insulin so insulin and amylin collectively will trigger the uh, stiety and we will not feel hungry for example insulin and amylin will decrease will lead to food intake more so in this way when increase the food intake will be less will lead to pancreas increase uh, the insulin as well as amylin but the insulin will target to the different tissue for influx of the glucose from the blood circulatory system for satiety and feel appetite less amylin release also target the tissue and this target tissue will lead to rest and digest and in this way the hypothalamic signaling uh, will lead to satiety reflex in this way the parasympathetic nervous system activate while the sympathetic nervous system deactivate will lead to sleep more and feel the full full uh, stomach and feel the satiety i hope you make sense about the amylin and insulin physiology in this video we have discussed about the amylin and insulin uh, how it can work and how to get the satiety effect anorexic effect by this activation and releasing due to the glucose in increase in the blood thanks for watching please make sure to sub subscribe like and share